So uh, in about 10 minutes remaining, let's see if, uh, uh, if there's one or two questions that I can go over out of the second half. Uh, a lot of that is about reading, which is why uh, in the hint, it kind of, most of the time what hint says is read the section. So um, please do. So uh, these are multiple choice questions, and I think those are easier for people to kind of see why correct answer is correct, wrong answer is wrong. So let me try to hunt down a multiple, okay, here's a multiple answer. Um, if there's a few more. Uh, so there's essentially question four, question nine, um, 10, um, nine, 10, 14. Okay, I probably won't be able to go over all these. I think the um, calculation here is um, I think people can do that okay. Um, so, oh, you know, I remember getting um, usually questions um, about question 18. I think it's because this is the one you need to think through it more. Uh, so let me do question 18, and I think that's the kind of end of our time. So uh, I'll leave the remainder of the assignment to, for people to do it. Any questions come up, I'll answer them <laughs> by messaging. Um, but I remember in past semesters usually getting a question about this from students. So let me do it here so that I can um, walk through the thinking process. And I think they are also kind of laid out in the hint. So, um, so uh, there's a description on a stormy night, uh, I like today. <laughs> um, you see thunderstorm, and this is what the situation is describing so that you can visualize the setup. As you are, as you are sitting in your room or wherever you happen to be, uh, hopefully you are not out in the rain. So there's a window you are looking at. Uh, it's raining outside, and um, you see a kind of a flash, and you see just the flash in the window somewhere. Usually, it's uh, you know when you see a lightning, it's uh, hard to see. Is the lightning happening here or here? You just see there's a, a flash happening somewhere in the broader background. So that's uh, uh, the moment when your clock is starting. Uh, you are you see a lightning flash. And then uh, if you pay the, uh, I don't know, in, we're in California, we don't really get thunderstorm that often. But on the rare occasions we do, if you pay attention, you will kind of hear a rumbling sound a few moments after that lightning flash. That's what the sound of thunder. And um, so what it's uh, describing is, okay, after you see that flash, a few moments later, you hear a sound rumbling sound that you recognize as thunder and saying it takes this amount of time. And then it asks, how, how far away do you estimate that the lightning struck? And I think this is sometimes a bit of a common knowledge. So actually you can look up rule of thumb. Now the only problem with those rules of thumb is I think they give you the number in miles and I'm asking for a number in kilometers. So. This is where uh, you should go through the calculation that I'm going to lay out here. So with the lightning, with the light, what I'm going to assume is that this light basically travels from the location of the lightning to me instantaneously. It, uh, light travels very fast. It travels uh, 300 million meters per second. So I'm just gonna say this time, amount of time it takes here, Zero seconds. As soon as it happens here, I see it here. So that starts my clock. At that moment when the lightning strikes here is the moment when the sound waves are starting to travel. And the difference with the sound waves here is that sound waves travel at a definitely uh, finite speed. Uh, it's uh, about traveling at about 340 meters per second. This number is in your textbook. The so, speed of sound under usual conditions, like room temperature, atmospheric pressure. So um, this is what you have. You have the speed of the thing traveling, and you have the time, 5.5 seconds. 
time it took to travel to you, and you want to know the distance. Mm. So this is where, where you have to kind of recall back to chapter two. I think that might be why I often get this question because a lot of people have forgotten chapter two. And what you should remember from chapter two is that the distance travel is equal to the average speed or the constant speed times the duration of time. So I take 340 meters per second, multiply it to 5.5 seconds. So, uh, so 340 meters per second times 5.5 seconds. Seconds cancel out. Okay, I can't do that one in my head. Let me pull out a calculator. 340 times 5.5, 1870. Now, if you put in 1870 as your answer, it'll tell you it's wrong because it's in meters. The question asks for your answer in kilometers. So you should remember uh, one meter is a, sorry, one kilometer is a thousand meters. So this is uh, 1,870 meters. That's a one, uh, it's a 1 1.870 kilometers. Put that in and see if it works. Seven zero kilometers. And right. so, so that's how you answer this question. And I do lay that out in hints, but I remember uh, getting this, uh, getting questions on this question every semester. So um, hopefully I can point this people to this video uh, <laughs> this semester. 